welcome back to the present if you're just joining me for the first time yes you're in the right place strike a like on the video subscribe you're good subscribe do us a favor make sure you turn on your notification bell is very very important so as now play looting at the current world road tomorrow tuesday yes the games are coming thick and fast so let's go straight into the data so you know, let's look at the form table of both teams are looting they won one of their last five so their last five they've won one they've drawn one and lost three the okay that's looting asna have won four of their last five and lost one out of their last five on the table asna played 14 games 10 wins three draws one loss, 33 points 18 goal difference looting are uh, played 14 games uh they won just two they've drawn three and lost nine uh nine points minus 30 goal difference so key players they have uh sim maurice for Luton, three goals and two assists uh key player for arsenal bukai saka five goals five assists this season so those are the key data and statistics regarding the match now looking at the match looting are bottom of the power they are bottom of the power let, let, let me put it right there see they are sorry they are 17th on the table so they are uh, one of the uh, teams pencil down for relegation. They do not have the quality player. They should not, not should be able to match us. Yes, even they're going, if they decide to play a low block tomorrow, which definitely will play because of the, uh, the inferior uh, quality of their players compared to our players. I expect them to play a low block. Uh, they will defend very tight. They will pack the boss. Regardless of that, we have the quality within our, our ranks to actually go there and trample upon them. Regardless if you are playing away, this is Luton Town. They are not flushy stars. They do not have the budget. They don't have the players. They don't have the guard. They don't have the coach. Even though in their stadium with their massive supporters, we will still go there and win because of the quality we have. Now, football is funny because Luton, same Luton Town actually drew Liverpool at the Kenworth Road. But that's a Liverpool. I know Liverpool is a big team, but we should have learned from that. Let's make sure we are clinical with our chances. Let's not take them lightly. Let's not be complacent. But it's just losing time. I know it's just losing time. But go there and do the job. Like it to be embarrassing. It to be laughable and fastic and comical. Uh, go to losing town. Go and draw or or, lo or lose the game. It to be unacceptable by all standard, by all metric, by all logic. Regardless, I understand you can have a, a horrible day at the office. That is like a popular phrase in football, but against Luton Town with the quality we have in our ranks, nah, nah, there is no way we should not claim all three points if we are actually serious about winning the English Premiership. Because if you look at how Man City have performed this season, there's a chink in that armor. We know Liverpool are a, a, a good team competing for the English Premiership, but look at the Aston squad, regardless of the injuries at the moment, we still have enough. To go to losing town and beat them, score a few goals, increase our goal difference. Even though we don't increase our goal difference substantially, get the victory. I, I understand it's going to be a congested December where games are coming thick and fast. We played on Saturday. Now we are playing on the Tuesday. We are playing Aston Villa on the Saturday. We have to make sure go there, get the victory, conserve energy, and get no injuries. Uh, we should be finding out whether Tomiyasu will, will be playing this match or not. We know he pulled out uh, last Saturday. According to Ateta, we're not sure how the extent or the severity of that injury. Someone is saying it's fatigue. Someone is saying it's a calf injury. We'll find out when Ateta decides to do his press conference later in the day. So uh, there's not much to say about Luton Town. They are 17th. They are not the strongest team in the league. They will play a low block. We have enough to go there and move their block or trump over their low block. So no excuses. So if you have a prediction for this match, uh, I will, I'll go for a comfortable 3-0. Uh, let's keep the clean sheet. Zini, behave yourself. They don't get complacent. They're, like the they, they match against uh, our last match, why? Who did we play the last match that was, it was so much against Wolves? We should have a clean sheet until Zini decided to be very, very cynical. This is not time to be having a brain freeze. Keep your concentration, keep the clean sheet, and keep keep it going. Keep professional. We you cannot afford to be complacent. So I'm hoping Ateta will get this into the boy's head and will go to Luton Town and get the job done. So I'm predicting a 3-0. I expect Jesus to score this time. Maybe Saka and Martinelli will add one each to make it through. I don't expect a whitewash. Luton will want to make sure 
even though they lose the game, they don't want to lose it ridiculously. So I'm predicting 3 0. Get in the comment section and let me know uh, what the score line and what you'd like to see from the boys and how many goals you think will score. Let me know in the comment section. So, on your way out, don't forget to like the video. Very important. Very, very important. And, and make sure you go to Catalog and watch other videos. Make sure you strike a like on them. Likes are very, very important to build this community and to build the channel in the YouTube algorithm. If you like the video, subscribe here, subscribe. And lastly, make sure you turn on your notification bell. Those are very, very important too. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.